Now, the officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. So, for the thousands in attendance, and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Well, all right, guys, let's get right into it. Kania Enriquez has positioned herself for another title shot at the full flyweight title. It could be for the Undisputed Championship by the time she lands her shot. For now, the Tijuana native is now the mandatory challenger to WBC crown after her interim flyweight title win over Ibeth Zamora. The battle of former titleist Soa Enriquez prevailed by scores of 190. 99.91 and 99.91 in their 10 round battle Sunday evening on Imagine TV in La Paz, Baja California and Mexico. Enriquez kept Zamora at the end of her jab early in the bout and used the weapon to set up her left hooks. Zamora, a former two division titleist, was willing to target as she consistently came forward but struggled to match the power or activity of her younger and fresher countrywoman. More subtle movement was offered in round two by Enriquez, just enough to gain more leverage on her left hook. She often doubled up on the weapon with Zamora left to absorb body shots as well as the head and without the ability to properly return fire. Both boxers were warned to keep it clean in round four, though largely caused by Zamora constantly rushing inside to clinch. Enriquez did not get discouraged as she stuck to her game plan and made Zamora physically pay the price. Zamora sought to turn the tide late in the fight and was able to occasionally land right hands. By that point, her right eye was nearly swollen shut and also showed bruising around her left eye. Enriquez mixed in her own right hand for measure and fought more behind the jab in the later rounds as a points win was all but assured and Zamora was determined to go all 10 rounds. The setback saw Zamora fall to 33 and 8 with the second loss in her past three starts. The 34-year-old from San Cristobal saw her last three-year WBC flyweight title reign come to an end with a June 2021 points loss to Marlena Esparza in El Paso, Texas. Esparza has since added the WBA and WBO titles to her collection, along with the lineal championship. Her quest to fully unify the division was interrupted when the WBO ordered an immediate rematch versus recently dethroned WBO titleist Gabriela Alaniz, with the matter now destined to head to a purse bid hearing. Enriquez, 27 wins, 1 loss, 11 by way of knockout could further complicate those plans. The 29-year-old extended her current 14-fight win streak, which included a lengthy stay as the interim WBC junior flyweight titleist. Her reign included a November 2017 win over Yeskaneri Plata, who is now the unified WBC WBA titleist. Sunday's win is also the fourth in a row at flyweight since Enriquez moved up last May. All right, guys. Well, what do you think about Enriquez? Um, unanimous decision. Who do you want to see Enriquez fight next in flyweight or super flyweight? Um, yeah, let us know who you guys want to see her fight next. There's a lot of women um, down there that are pretty, pretty fast, pretty strong, and uh, going to be some stiff competition. So, um, yeah, let us know in the comments who you think that Enrique's next opponent should be. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid, guys. We appreciate you. Take care.